Oh, hi, viewers. Today we are going to play Silent Hill for The Room, huh? But no, seriously, this game really is pretty cool. Although, the first thing you're going to notice is that it is drastically different than its predecessors. There's sort of an other world, maybe? You go through all sorts of worlds in this game, from your room and back. So, it doesn't function exactly like the older Silent Hill games do. Also, there aren't many psychological scares. You're not going to be afraid to enter a room for, hear, for, for fear of hearing a loud bang or anything like that. Um, it, it's really... The, the game's generally a lot more brightly lit than the older Silent Hill games, and you actually don't even have a portable radio or a flashlight. You are tearing me apart, Konami! No, but again, I'll stop that, but this game really is pretty fun. I, I don't believe it was as successful as the other Silent Hill games, but it's still good in its own right, and it, the story really is entertaining. And the villain might be someone who you don't expect. The villain was mentioned in a previous Silent Hill game, so there is that connection, but I don't know if you'll remember it or see it coming when it finally shows up. However this may go, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. This game is different, but originality is a good thing. So let's begin. Ah uh, yes, the old Konami logo, and a very similar looking Konami computer logo, just like with the previous Silent Hill PC games. And as always, some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel. I rather like this menu screen. Well, let's see what we have to deal with here. New game options! I've already gone to the options menu to customize the controls for myself, but I'm just showing you what we have to deal with here. So there's the standard resolution, brightness, etc. Moving across, we have button config, vibration, head motion. This intrigues me. Part of the game, when you're in your apartment room, takes place in the first person, believe it or not. Now, this toggles the ability to have um, the head bobbing when you're moving forward. I have only seen one other game that does this, that gives you the option for the head bob. And, if, and it's a first person shooter, and I definitely plan on let's playing that later. <laughs> on let's playing that. First person movement, rotate, camera normal. One other thing that's different between this game and its predecessors is that Silent Hill 4 does not give you the option of 3D movement or 3D controls. That is, there are no tank controls in this game, so I'm actually going to have to get used to that. Subtitles on for sure. Noise effect? Yeah, I'll keep it on. Blood color? I love this. I've always wanted purple blood. No, red. Uh, the gauge, the health gauge, stuff like that. Shadow? Yeah, I'll keep that. That should do for now. Okay. Now... Options and three. Click it up. I guess I'll play normal mode. Sure, why not? See that? The little loading logo was the Silent Hill sh uh, saving thing. It was two years ago that Henry Townshend moved into the room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. I rather like how seamless this is. I guess I was just on my bed and I'm getting up now. Alright, and look at that, I'm moving around at will. Mouse looks around, making the viewers dizzy here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> don't worry, I don't think you get many scares like that. By the way, from what I can remember, other than maybe one of the levels in this game, I think this is as close to the other world as you get in Silent Hill 4. And see the little eye icon, that means I can investigate. If I press the action button, now, what's with this room? Thanks for the help, genius. It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? This room, is it really... Okay, okay. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy and my head hurts. 
All sorts of dusty items here. What the hell? None of it's mine. My head hurts. I don't remember putting up this photo. This church. Yeah, while this game deviates from the standard Silent Hill manner in which it's played, there are still a bunch of references to other games, a lot of which I didn't pick up the first time through. Maybe I'll get lucky and get some this time. Maybe that church was one of the churches in the old game. By the way, I'm, I'm flipping out because I'm trying to walk into the closet. I apparently cannot do that. Oh, cool. It looks reflective. Look at that. It's a shiny picture. Also, I go through doors by pressing the action button. Oh, hello. I'll check that later. First, the bathroom. Oh. Okay. And trust me, that is the bathroom. I just apparently can't go in now. Then again, I am being led. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. This place looks like hell. That looks like it's almost a door. The door is shut for good. There was a door here. It's gone now. Same goes with this. This looks like it might have been a closet. Not going that way. There's my storage box. What's this? Yeah, that's my storage box. I'll, I'll get into that shortly. You'll see it soon enough. TV. Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. Henry Townshend, kicking it old school. When did the clock stop working? Did I even have a clock in this room before? And there's my portable radio. I don't even know what this is. Or, not my portable radio, it's, uh, just the radio. Excuse me. I'm getting used to old school sound hell. These books, they're not mine. Let's check the window. Can't get it open. The moral of the story, this room sucks. Oh, hello. Who is this guy? Actually, that's supposed to be me. And look at all that veiny, spidery stuff on the wall there. You see that? Behind the lamp? Freaky. Who are all these people? 21 people. It can't be. Why are they here? It's kind of hard to make out, but this is supposed to be a bunch of dead bodies. 21 people. Remember that number 21? Part of an old picture book. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day, the cord was cut, and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House. Holy crap, is Wish House that disturbing orphanage in Silent Hill 3? Remember the one Heather was reading about? The one that looked to be an orphanage, but it was actually a brainwashing cult? This won't be good. And everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here, and I can't read anymore. Oh, this will not end well. Wish House sucks. I'll check that later. That's important later. Looks like a face. See that? First, I want to get... Okay, uh, that the game did that automatically. Creepy. It looks like a face. I thought I moved this, but now it's back where it was. I'm not interested in food at all. My head. It hurts. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the fridge. It smells horrible. I'm afraid to open it up. What do you want to do, Henry Townsend? Other than... get the hell out. Well, for those of you who are getting bored with the way Silent Hill's depicted now, don't worry. Stuff gets real. Now. Getting a little misty. Okay. It looks almost like cracking glass, doesn't it? The way it's kind of rapidly spreading. Although I would not want to see this in my room. Creepy sound. This is where stuff gets fun. <laughs> oh my god! For those of you who watched Phyllis' Pulse review, when he said the guy becomes one of Walter's 21 sacraments, this is the reference he was making. Guy's coming right out of the wall. This ghosts suck. Hey look, head twitching! Go away, dude! Look. <laughs> and now welcome to an amazing song. Silent Hill 4 may not look or play like other Silent Hill games, but its soundtrack is top-notch. Top-notch. 
and this is, if I remember correctly, this is like easily the best song in the game. So good that Paul made this one of his uh, songs remembered in video games. He had Beyond Good and Evil's bar theme. He had this song too. He's only made five of these things so far, so for this to have made the list, that's a big deal. Because Paul's the music guy. Take a listen. I'm ashamed, or I'm ashamed. It's a shame that we didn't get more of that, because that song is way too good. If the game doesn't give it to us on its own, then I'll play it for you later. And there, that's me. See, I'm the guy that was on the picture on the wall. Oh man. Which means that I made a dream. I just had a realization. Give me a second for this cutscene to end. You see, I'm Henry Townshend, this is my apartment. But just a second ago in the game, what is this? It's my apartment, but none of this stuff is mine. Who is this guy? That previous flashback I was playing... Oop. I must have been playing as someone else, living in the apartment before Henry lived here. I know who that someone else is, but you'll find out. Let me just first dial 555-2195. I think that's what that was. Still not working. Useless piece of junk! You should have known, Henry, never to dial a 555 number. Those things are bogus. Oh. Hello? Ooh. What? Ooh, phone's unplugged. The cord's cut. Well, that's creepy. I will try dialing the 2195 number, because yes, you can dial out. I hope I looked at that scene right. No answer, okay. Fair enough. But yeah, this is Henry's apartment, so my point of view when everything was rusty, it must not have been Henry's point of view. It was Henry's dream, perhaps, in someone else's point of view. I think. A photo of the church I ran across while I was visiting Silent Hill. Okay. For some reason, I was really attracted by the way it looked, so I took the picture. Meaning, this game does not actually take place in the town. But hey, don't worry about it. Silent Hill 3, the first two dungeons of that game weren't in Silent Hill either. A lot of small items, none of them's interesting. None of them's interesting. Your stuff, Henry, obviously have some interest in them. Quick shot I took in downtown Silent Hill. A nice tourist town about half a day's drive from here. Okay. The lighthouse near the lake in Silent Hill. Silent Hill 1, that is. A little lonely for a tourist town, but it's a nice place to relax and heal your soul. Hmm, good soundproofing on my windows, apparently. I can hear stuff, but barely. Also, see that woman who's standing around? She's directly relevant in a few minutes. <laughs> spoiler alert. Don't worry, we'll see her soon. She's about to go down to the subway, it seems. There we go. Down to the subway. I cannot look around. There we go, I can get back out of it. Now I have free look, or free reign to look. I like how you can kind of see the sill there on my right, see that? Hotel South Ashfield, what does that say? Restaurant... Fuse... Okay. Fusion, maybe? Nothing else really going on, just people. I'm trying to look to the left, I can only look so far at once, I'm like scraping my mouse here. Uh, the bar in Southfield, 555-3750. Let's give that a call, shall we? I know my cord's cut, shut up, I'm dialing it. Ooh! 
I would like one drink, please. Oh, the zombie hung up on me. Jerk. I bet he wouldn't have even given me a drink, either. By the way, uh, as far as I know, I do not think there is a quick save in this game. I think you actually have to go back to your room to save the game. Kind of annoying. There's, there's basically like one save point in the game. Now let's take a look at that bathroom. Sorry, I'm scraping the mouse here. I have to. I can only look so far at a time. Okay, bathtub. Normal bathroom. Nothing has changed since I moved here two years ago. Fair enough. Uh, toilet. Nothing to do here. Don't feel like washing my face. Okay. Whoa. Alright, there we go. Is that anything? Just a notepad? Is that like a reference to Silent Hill 1? Just the notepad? TV? Oh. This chest could hold a lot of stuff. Yeah. Another thing, unlike the previous Silent Hill games, you can only hold ten items at a time. And that includes weapons and ammo. So you basically have a Resident Evil 1 storage chest. A few days ago, the power to my TV and VCR just stopped coming on. Ever since I started having those nightmares. So Henry has the TV. Whoever that previous person was had a record player. Clock stopped working. I brought these books, but I haven't touched them since two years ago when I moved in. And next, we'll be taking a look at the weather. Oh. Tonight, we can expect scattered clouds clearing by morning. Tomorrow looks to be quite a nice day with a warm and sunny weather continuing through the evening. And the weekend, we can expect more of the same. So I hope you all get out there and uh, enjoy your weekend. Yes. That's a little creepy. Ugh. A scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without, the Lord's world. That is, without meaning outside of, the opposite of within. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? And then the part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. Too damaged? Huh. The book scrap in my scrapbook. Yeah, instead of a memo section, it's a scrapbook. It's the same thing, though, so that's all good. Can I look out this window, please? Yes, I can. Is this the same view? Seriously? Okay. Hey, there's a guy in there. Oh, I never noticed that before. It looks like he's making a Xerox of his ass. That's actually pretty hilarious. That sound is me tapping on the window. What? Whoa, what? What? Can't quite make out what's going on in these rooms. Wacky stuff happening, I guess. Well, okay. Anything else to look at? My save point! Save possible. Room 302. Level normal. Number of saves, 1. In order to get 10 stars in this game, there are 52 memos you can pick up in the game. You must pick up 50 memos, but then you're not allowed to save or continue even once. If you get all 52 memos, you can save or continue once. Power's off. Can I look at the book? No. Picture. Frank Sunderland, the super, at South Ashfield Heights. You think Frank Sunderland, the super, is related to James Sunderland? That'd be interesting. Me as a kid when I graduated from high school. Doesn't appear to be much going on. Don't feel like cooking. Don't feel like washing my hands. Jeez, Henry's as lazy as the last guy who was here. 
open again. Chocolate milk. Yes, I want the chocolate milk. It's a plot item. White wine. No, I don't want that. That is a weapon, but it's breakable over time. What's that? Oh, no. Well, first I'll check out the closet. Tools, stuff, things. Don't need a washing machine. Alright. Oh, hello. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. I've been trapped in here for five days, and I'm locked in on the freaking inside. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't get anyone to hear me when I yell. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door's chained up, the windows are sealed shut. And someone's chained the door from the inside. That's creepy. How am I going to get out of here? Five days, I hope I have a lot of food. God. Don't go out! Walter! Walter, eh? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What's going on here? What? What was that noise? Eileen Calvin, Galvin from next door. And there are 15 handprints. Oh, man. I hope my luck changes before the party. Party? I want to go to a party. Let me out. Eileen. Well, I can see 15 hands. Yikes. Yeah, that's my hint to check out the bathroom. First, let's go to that door. Hey, my shoes. Let's wear them. Nope. <laughs> no need to do anything. Mom, why doesn't you wake up? I'll wake up when you get some damn grammar. <laughs> totally putting that in my notes. Hmm. Nothing I press does anything. Well, I stalled for time long enough. Let's use the bathroom. I think you're gonna like this. If I go to the right room. Yeah, see, now there's a hole. There was a solid wall here. It's gone now. There wasn't a hole here. It's there now. What? Yeah, apparently this is like Henry's catchphrase. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? S somebody in there? I wonder if I can get out this way. Dude, I'll take anything. Sewage pipe's broken too. Pull on the part hanging down. Yes! I got a steel pipe. Not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. I like that. That makes me smile. Old school pipe description. Well, isn't the time for that kind of thing. Who could have done this? There must be someone here. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. Bathroom miners here, but I don't have time for that. Water stopped running. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, mirror? Can I look at anything in the mirror? No, I can't. All right, I hear voices. Let's do it. Enter the hole. Yeah, enter the hole. Kind of a tight squeeze, but you know what? Five days in here. Take what you can get. I like the flickering, you see that? I really like that. And I'll be going in and out of this hole many, many times, but don't worry, I only have to do this crawling sequence once. I see a light, come on! I'm almost there.
I really love that flicker. I keep saying this, but it's cool. We got the radio noise and the old camera effect. And we are out of here. And that's it. I beat the game out of the apartment. Oh, no. I'm still playing. I am in Pipe World. No, I'm somehow connected to an escalator. How does that work? Very slow escalator. Also, am I sleeping? Did I fall unconscious? Look where I'm coming from, like a freaking abyss. What the hell? Three times. That's three what the hells. Alright, now how do I do this? Tab tab focuses the camera behind me. You see, if I press left, I go left on screen. I don't turn around like the character would. Uh, okay, X brings up the inputs. Good, here we go. Now, this is a little different. See, when I raise the weapon, my health... I actually have a health bar now, thank God. And a circle thing appears. If I, hold, if I press the attack button, I swing. If I hold the attack button, watch the circle. A little yellow builds up. But finally, critical hit. Yeah. That's how this game rolls. This this part makes me laugh. Let's go back up. It's down only. It's a dead end. Oh man, there's no way I could outrun that escalator. I mean... Nah, it's all good though. And as you can see, brightly lit. But this amuses me. See? You come with a map. You just build it as you go. Instead of having to find a map and filling it in as you go. So I like that. This looks like crap though. But there's a woman at the end, and it happens to be the woman I saw outside my window. As far as I know, if I hold the run button, I won't lose my stamina, but I run like crap. This is my run speed. It's embarrassing. Who are you? What's your name? Hey, who are you, and how'd you get here? I climbed through a hole in my bathroom. Thank you very much. Henry. And you? This is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Interesting. She thinks this is her vision. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. Did both of us just... I hope I wake up soon. ...stumble across this place? So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway. I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Say, will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. Yeah, you look it. I'll do a special favor for you later. Interesting. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. <laughs> I love how Henry's like, uh... <laughs> Well, sure, I'll help you find the exit. Keep up. Yeah, loading screens between long hallways. There aren't many rooms in each of these worlds. So, after you walk a long enough distance, the game will just cut. There, there aren't many doors that you investigate. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? I think I'm gonna puke. I'm not that ugly, am I? What the hell? The door swings both ways in the bathroom, really? <laughs> I love that, like, alright, I'll just be over here. Oh, the men's room's opening. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh! Crisis averted. Also, disgusting. Ooh. 
Those are some huge tongues, my god. And they're barbed at the end. I think. Whoa! Whoa! The good news is, if you look them in the eye, they're no threat to you. Let's hit a home run. Come on! And old school Silent Hill style, step on them and they're dead. None of the Silent Hill 3 craziness where you don't know what's going on. No, he's dead now. Don't relax when I'm standing. Whoa! Where are you, little mongrel? Oh man, I suck at this. Get off of me, you little weasel. Get up from this. I gotta admit, unlike every other Silent Hill character, Henry stomps like a champ. Look at that, he put some effort into that. Let's do that one more time. Can I? Nah, he's totally dead. If you're quick enough, you can do it again. Well, let's take a look at that men's room, huh? You heard that, right? It wasn't just me? This stall's useless. No one in there. No one in there. Wow, Henry actually can combo that thing. Boom! What? Don't need to use this. Don't need to use this. Don't need to use this. Alright. See how Cynthia's doing. Don't think anyone's in there. But here, the main attraction. A wall with runes? Sure? Whoa! Back in the apartment. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is how the dungeons work. Various holes, all of which lead you back to your apartment. When you go back through the hole in your bathroom, I think you come out of the hole you most recently entered. What? What? Another dream. But it seems so real. Cynthia thought it was be? Cynthia thought it was a dream too. Careful now. Is that really inside that woman's dream? Oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? And we're back to me. Oh yeah, one really cool thing about being in your apartment. When you're in the apartment, you slowly heal. Oh, I can't even look out the window now. Oh. But yeah, you slowly heal when you're in the apartment. There are health drinks, but if you have access to your apartment, then you're good. If you're going for a 10-star ranking, though, maybe not so good, because you have to just hang out. I'll check the bathroom again shortly. See if anything's changed. The furniture has been here since I moved in. But that's weird. Somebody moved it. Straighten it? Yes. Hello? There's a pistol. Take it? Yeah, duh. Thank you. Not much stopping power, though. Looks like a message. Looks like you used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls, it feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. Who the hell wrote that? Like, me? Don't tell me what's happening to someone else in the same room. Whoa. Oh, 
let's take a look. Oh, I can see into the next room. Suddenly, I'm a stalker. Hmm. Where did I put that damn broom? Am I looking at that damn broom? There it is. Oh. Hey, it's a Robbie the Rabbit doll! That's amazing! Hey, Eileen, can you, uh... get me out of here, please? Oh, the phone's ringing. Henry Townsend speaking. Where did you go? Cynthia? Hurry! Save me! If you need a token, there's one here! Cynthia somehow called me? What the hell's that? Oh, she's just sweeping. I don't think she comes back or anything like that. I think she's just to the left. Ah. Eileen, hello? Hello? Open my door! Oh. Oh, she's done. This sucks. Alright, I think I'm going to cut this short uh, relatively soon. But first, I will take a look back in the subway world. Into the hole? Yeah, let's into the hole. I think I can even skip that. Yeah, even though it's sped up, I can skip the going back in animation too, which is not... Oh my god! Some kind of mannequin. Got a coin in its hand. Yay! I hope to God that Cynthia mannequin doesn't kill me. Reminds you of Cynthia. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. And I'm out, thank God. Ugh. There's an enemy somewhere around here. Come on, tough guy, you wanna go? You wanna go? Oh, you little runt. Stomp like a champ. And just because I hate you... God, that's gonna hurt. All right, uh, King Street line. I don't have that. I want the Lynch Street line. I need a coin to get to the turnstile. Well, that's okay. And we're in. Oh, good, another Silent Hill subway level. Those never got old. What the hell? Hey, it's our first ghost enemy. The one in the dream. Get used to these pieces of crap, by the way. They suck. Also, they hurt you just by being near you. Oh my god. Oh, there's two of them. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, they hurt you just by being nearby. Oh. Ah, uh, nuts. And they can grab me. Go away! Ah, uh, see that? Ah, uh, get in the train! Get in the damn train! No, I want to be in the train. Door shut. No. 
I don't want to leave the train. Unless I'm on the other side, I don't know it. I want to press this button. Yes. Aha! Good. Good. Now we go in. Door shut. That's fine. That's okay. What the hell? I am getting out of here. Oh, I remember how much this sucks. I remember this. I have to get through all this craziness. And there's a ghost nearby. I don't know where. This is a freaking maze. Uh, uh, map, please. Press action to zoom in. Where do I go? Can I go through there, please? Oh, great. I'm feeling it in my head now. Maybe I do just want to go to the other side. Door shut. Yeah, not going that way. Maybe it's as simple as trying a different train. Car. You like that? How they come out of the floor? Oh! Crap, which way do I go? Oh my god, it's a box. A thousand and then some weird symbol. It looks like an eight. It's locked though. Oh, I can go through. What the hell? What the hell? I don't know what those are. Mannequin parts, I think? Remember, no clue where I'm going. Uh. Okay. Oh, I hate these trains. I hate these trains. I guess I want to go this way. Alright, I, I seem to be in a new area. Was that anything on the floor? Oh god. I'm at the top of the line. Oh good, new area, I think. What do I do from here, though? I guess just get the hell out of these things way. Oh, God, this is terrible. Do I go upstairs? I don't even know. The answer is no, I do not go upstairs. But at least I have bullets now. And remember, those take up space in my inventory. Oh, God, I need to find a way out of here. I think I could smack the ghosts around, but they will always come back. You like the way they come out of the walls like that? I really do. Oh, thank God. Hey, it's another hole. Well... I'll take any opportunity I can get to heal and save. I haven't saved. Alright, nothing new. Man, I'm all blurry. Alright. Yeah, you can see how you can actually see my bar going up slowly. Alright, saving time. Well, what do you think of Silent Hill so far? It certainly doesn't play like the other Silent Hill games like I keep saying, but there are certainly enough references of other Silent Hill games to make you feel right at home. Not only that, 
But this is definitely a very intriguing game in and of itself. You have ghosts coming out of the walls, you have creepy animations, generally disturbing situations. What am I supposed to do with this subway world? Is Cynthia real? If so, what am I supposed to do for her? I don't even know. But I guess we'll answer at least a couple of those questions on the next installment. Until next time, everyone.